It's Three Minute Thursday. This week I'm going to teach you about MITRE ATT&CK. It's a fundamental thing you have to know about in cybersecurity, and I'm pretty sure I can do this in under three minutes. So, three minutes on the clock, and let's roll. First of all, MITRE is the name of a non-profit organization in the US. They created MITRE ATT&CK, and that's that. So, this is what it looks like. If you come to attack.mitre.org, you'll see this. Scroll down the page, and you'll see this. This is the attack matrix for enterprises. If I just hover over the matrices thing at the top, you can see there's enterprise, mobile, and ICS. Enterprise means businesses, mobile is mobile devices, and ICS is industrial control systems, dams and floodgates and all those sorts of things. Enterprise is the most common, it's probably the most maintained. So let's look at that. It's really split into three major chunks, tactics, techniques, and defenses. And on the screen here, we see tactics and we see techniques. For example, when bad guys attack organizations, they employ the following tactics. They do reconnaissance. Okay, what techniques do they use when they do reconnaissance? Well, they do all these different things. So that's why you get reconnaissance at the top as the tactic. And you can see there it has a number assigned to it, TA0043. That's unique. If we go to the next one, it's TA0042. Within the reconnaissance tactic, you get these 10 different techniques. And if we click into one of these, active scanning, you can see it has three sub-techniques. Active scanning itself has an ID number of T1595. So if I'm having a conversation with someone on the telephone and our wires are a little bit crossed, I can just say, look, they did T1595 to us. And we all know that means this thing here on the screen. That is the beauty of MITRE ATT&CK. It's a taxonomy, it's a sort of dictionary, it's definitive as to what's going on. And within that you have sub-techniques, and they have .001, .002, Now, that's what it is. How do you use it? Let's take an example from my CTI 101 ebook, little plug, link below. Let's say you're in law enforcement, and all of a sudden there's a string of bank robberies all across your city. You go to each location, and you find broken windows, lockpicks, size 7 shoe prints, pink powder around some of the locks, and the only thing that's missing is bars of gold. Those techniques, tactics, and procedures, TTPs, are consistent across all of the attacks. So it might be the same threat group, the same bad guys, and it acts a bit like a fingerprint. That's what MITRE is good for. So you might see an attack in your organization, you look across the whole chain of events, compare that back to MITRE ATT&CK, and it might tell you, oh, this was Lazarus Group, or this was APT3, for example. And the last thing I want to cover is the defensive side of it. So if we go to defenses up here, and we choose mitigations for, say, enterprise, for example, you can see here all of the different mitigations that are listed inside of MITRE ATT&CK. If I then go back to some techniques, and we open up enterprise, and we'll just go to this first one, you can see here it says abuse elevation control mechanism. It has five sub-techniques, tells you what it is, but then here it says mitigations. These are the mitigations for this specific attack technique. And down here are the detections for it. So in the banking example, if you wanna try and detect someone smashing glass to get into your building, you might want to deploy a specific detection thing like some sort of microphone that picks up broken glass. Those exist, by the way. This is just the cyber version of that. So these are all the different things that you can do to try and detect abuse elevation control mechanisms. That is MITRE ATT&CK in a nutshell. And I'm pretty sure I can do this in under three minutes. Should we change it to five minute Friday? 